Hey there everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Sega Dreamcast, a console that brought us some of the most adrenaline pumping shooter games of all time. Do you remember those moments when you'd embark on missions battling enemies in intense firefights? Well, today, we're revisiting those memories as we unveil the 25 best Dreamcast shooter games ever made. From epic space battles to gritty military showdowns, these games kept us on the edge of our seats. So, without further ado, let's lock and load and explore these timeless classics. Number 25, Centipede. Despite some control problems associated with the levels and a lack of useful playing views, the game is enjoyable. If you're a gamer with some patience and a capacity to forgive some oversights, Centipede will reward you with some exciting moments. Sarge, General Blastro and his Pan Army are attacking. Meet me at the helipad for evac. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Number 24, Army Man Sarge's Heroes. The Dreamcast version of Army Man Sarge's Heroes is an engaging, albeit dated, entry into the 3D action combat genre. However, for the game's target age group, the combination of a humorous plot, unlimited continues, and solid average gameplay makes for a great, non-violent initiation into the 3D combat genre. Welcome to the industrial sector, Slave Zero. We've got to destroy this sector's communications array by taking out its three... Number 23, Slave Zero. In many ways, Slave Zero is a 3D version of classic 2D shooters like the first few Contra titles, though it starts off much easier than those games. It starts slow, but Slave Zero builds into a pretty strong shooter that's worth checking out for its guns, bosses, and multiplayer mode. Core generator one is hit. One down, two to go. Keep it up and I'll have to be impressed. You were destroying my pain now. Number 22. Spawn in the Demon's Hand. Spawn in the Demon's Hand will no doubt provide a fun night of enjoyable moments as a quick session where blasting and trash-talking your friends will make you forget camera problems and poor AI. Playing it any longer and you might wonder if Spawn on the PlayStation was any better. Your energy will run out in 50 seconds. Number 21, Charge and Blast. The game is definitely short and once you get the control down, this game is pretty easy. And there's no reward at the end after beating the game, so there's really nothing to look forward to if you want to play through the game again. However, it's a somewhat enjoyable game. Number 20, Giga Wing 2. Giga Wing 2 is surprisingly a great deal, given the questionable quality of its predecessor. You'd be hard pressed to find a more visually impressive shoot 'em up on the Dreamcast, and the game is highly playable to boot. While the game is pretty short lived, the 4 player mode should serve as a decent diversion. It's over, Agent Gibson! Prepare to die! Number 19. Confidential Mission Confidential Mission is a light gun game in the spirit of the Virtua Cop series. And if Sega's other arcade light gun games still hold appeal for you, 
this game may be right up your alley. However, those who have grown wary of rail-based light gun action games will find little of value in confidential mission. Let's move now. Number 18, Gunbird 2. Ultimately, Gunbird 2 is a solid and highly inventive shoot 'em up for the Dreamcast. Great music, great retro styled visuals, and a brilliant script coupled with enjoyable gameplay mean Gunbird 2 is certainly one that fans of the genre should seek out. Number 17, Cannon Spike. The variety of playable characters and the fact that the game presents the first several levels in a random order does give it a certain replay value, but it's better played occasionally than often. It won't keep you entertained forever, but if you can get around its lack of length, Cannon Spike delivers. Number 16, Soldier of Fortune. Soldier of Fortune is a decent sized game stock full of plenty of ammunition, health power ups, and body armor. Your biggest challenge in Soldier of Fortune for the Dreamcast is finding something to do during the long, boring parts that surround the action. Number 15, Hidden and Dangerous. In the end, Hidden and Dangerous for the Dreamcast does little to improve upon the same product presented for the PC. And if you have already played Hidden and Dangerous for the PC, the Dreamcast version doesn't offer much new. But those willing to overlook AI and interface issues will do well to check out Hidden and Dangerous. Number 14, Silent Scope. Silent Scope is not deep, and it's not going to last forever on your mind. But if you can part with some money and like the idea of dropping thugs with one between the eyes, Silent Scope will offer something for you. Number 13, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six is an excellent single player experience whose mix of heavy strategy and action represents a style of game virtually non-existent on the Dreamcast. As long as you're not expecting Quake 3 Arena and are ready for a steep learning curve, Rainbow Six is as deep and challenging as action games get. Number 12, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Rogue Spear. If multiplayer is not a big factor for you, Rogue Spear's single player game is certainly worth the price of the game, that is, if you're buying it. It's long and challenging, and it features a unique style of gameplay that mixes thoughtful planning with tense action, and it provides yet another great excuse to get the keyboard and the mouse. Mission success. 
three, two, one. Start! Number 11. Out Trigger. In the end, Out Trigger earns points for being a simple, easy to play game, but it isn't for everyone. First person shooter fans will still be better served by a more diverse game, such as Quake 3 Arena or Unreal Tournament. But if you're looking for something new, Out Trigger fits the build nicely. Approaching the city. Mobile. We sure could use some help out here. Number 10. Armada. Armada is pretty impressive technically. The ship's designs are interesting, the effects are plentiful, and the frame rate is seamless. Even with tons of ships on screen, Armada never slows down. It is easily one of the best shooters in the Dreamcast lineup. Number 9. The House of the Dead 2 The House of the Dead 2 does have provide more value than most other gun games, and it also has faster gameplay, better enemy placement, and awesome surrounding atmosphere. Experienced players should not pass this one up, and the inexperienced may want to take a look as well. And don't forget to get the gun. Jeez, Number 8. Alien Front Online Alien Front Online offers an enjoyable gaming experience for those looking for some tank action. While not offering the polish or depth of a classic, Alien Front Online is a good entry in the Dreamcast library that system owners will want to check out. Number 7. Mars Matrix Dreamcast owning shooter fans should certainly check Mars Matrix out. It's really one of the more interesting shooters on a console, and there's really no telling if it'll get a sequel or a remake. Its gameplay systems are solid, as are its presentation and production values. It really is the game that GigaWing could have been. Number 6. Fur Fighters Whether or not you'll really enjoy Fur Fighters is dependent on what type of game you're after. If you're looking for a multiplayer first-person shooter, it should definitely keep you satisfied. If you're after a good single-player game, it may be playable if you can look past the game's camera problems. Number 5. The Typing of the Dead The Typing of the Dead is lots of fun, has lots of replay value, and perhaps most importantly, provides yet another great use for the Dreamcast keyboard. On top of the game's fun nature, the tutorial and drill modes can actually go a long way in teaching you how to be a better touch typist. Number 4. Bangai O. Dreamcast owners craving a genuinely compelling gameplay experience would do well to check out Bangai O. 
By the end of the day, in an age of thick productions and thin gameplay, Bangai O really has it where it counts in truly compelling and addictive gameplay. Number 3. Unreal Tournament For all its good points, the game does have a few drawbacks. However, it's an immensely fun game that sets new standards for console ports of PC first-person shooters and will have you coming back many months down the line. Quake 3 Arena on the Dreamcast may offer more visceral gameplay, but Unreal Tournament is the most complete package yet. Number 2. MDK2 Despite its few flaws, MDK2 is a great first effort by BioWare, and it's a better game than the original. While the extremely difficult nature of the game may put off some gamers, the title is well worth the extra effort needed to see it through. Number 1. Quake 3 Arena Quake 3 Arena for the Dreamcast marks one of the few times that a PC first-person shooter has moved over to a console system without sacrificing much of its playability or options. All things considered, Quake 3 Arena is a must-have for Dreamcast owners, provided that they also purchase a mouse and a keyboard. And there you have it everyone, the top 25 Dreamcast shooter games that filled our screens with action and excitement. Which one was your personal favorite? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on this explosive journey and remember, whether it's in the digital world or the real one, aiming for success is always a thrilling adventure.